I suppose on the plus side, this is the first drop in six months, so I suppose we are being greedy uh, in, in this instance here. <laughs> I suppose second is, I suppose, we did get that bit of a bump down because uh, of the higher base, ironically, of semiconductors in the previous uh, October, when we saw October last year, uh, stepping up from the prior two right. months. So it's a bit of a technicality. We had expected, I think, the chip sector to continue to drive the export, but it took a bit of a breather uh, in October. Fortunately, on the flip side, we still have, I think, the pharma segment uh, being still quite strong. This took essentially uh, export item, essentially accounted for uh, easily over 20, sometimes 25% of Singapore's total next uh, Nodex. It stepped back from the the, the chip segment this particular month. But I don't think we need to worry too much. I think the fundamental driving chip, chip demand is still quite strong. Okay, yeah, and I mean, you talk about the importance of electronics. Mm. It was more or less kind of flat on the month, so not too much mm. to worry about Indeed. there. When you look at the regional breakdown, though, I mean, it does speak to kind of what we're seeing in geographical trends with exports mm. to China still up some 5% in October. Indeed. Also to the U.S. climbing 13.2%. Any yeah. reason to be worried about what's happening with COVID cases in the U.S. and Europe, though, filtering back to Singapore, given that it is such yeah. a global trading hub? Indeed, fingers crossed. I suppose this is where we continue to be quite, uh, uh, I suppose, cautious about a sustainable recovery in that the end demand could still pull back if infection rate were to lead to more serious concern about uh, healthcare situation uh, in the key markets uh, where uh, I suppose the Asian exports uh, go to. So yes, so far so good. But obviously, new infection means there are vulnerability uh, ahead. Vaccine news is good, but ultimately, sustainable recovery, I think, as we've seen from today's exports uh, figures, is still something that we have to be uh, careful about. Vaccine shot in the arm is encouraging, but there's still plenty of risks ahead. Uh, there are plenty of risks ahead. Mm. Uh, Seng Moon, good morning. Thanks mm. for joining in this conversation. But let's focus on the good news because mm. most of 2020 has gone by talking about the negative news. Uh, the RCEP Indeed. deal, how much of that is a shot in the arm for Singapore? Well, if we look at it in totality, Singapore already had uh, agreement with all the key uh, trading partners. Uh, we, we sign as many as we can, big or small, and we already have them uh, with China, uh, even uh, down to New Zealand, Australia uh, as well. So it's less about, I suppose, Singapore uh, being more engaged. I think it will be once the benefit of RCEP kicks in, which hopefully will be less than two years because it's going to be two years, up to two years for governments to ratify all the deals and implement them. So if we were to see more trade within the region than for small little Singapore, which is a regional hub, uh, we stand to benefit, not today, tomorrow, or perhaps the benefit will be clearer uh, in a couple of years' time when we see a filter through effect of the, the deal on the region as a whole.